On a beautiful Wednesday morning, we thank you so much for hanging out with us. You are still watching Morning Rush, your favorite, favorite breakfast time show as you get ready for a winning day ahead. Now, of course, it is Wednesday, as I mentioned, which means that we are celebrating women in the entertainment industry. Uh, and this morning, I am joined by a young lady who... I came across her quite by accident, really. Um, going through WhatsApp status, uh, one of my friends had a prelude to what she's coming up with soon. And I was like, who's that? And you have to thank social media for now just giving us access to a lot of these um, individuals that we may not have known of otherwise or would have been known in different spheres. Uh, and now we have access to them just as easily as that. I am talking to Steph Munoro this morning. She is a gospel musician. Uh, and we get to know her a little bit more on Morning Rush this morning. Steph, good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm all right. I'm good. Good. Steph... Like I said, I, I came across your content quite by you, quite by chance. Um, but you've been putting in your work. You've been putting in the miles. I want to know, though, where did this start? Okay. Um, I studied in high school. Mm. Uh, I started doing music in high school uh, where we used to sing at a um, school service. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned at a mission school at St. Mary's. Mm. So they would sing, would present my items. So uh, my brother then discovered that, well, she can sing. So why can't you come to church and sing? Mm. And then I would go to church and sing. And then I get to meet new people, artists out there. And mm. I started working with artists like Tembalami, Jana Chwasa, Mithis Mary, mm. Rumbi Jirikuje, Janet Manyoa. And then, well, I then just said to myself, why can't I do something for myself right. since I've been learning from the great people out there. So right. I think just started That's to do something. Started. Wait, mm -hmm. no, so in high school, this mm -hmm. was a hobby? Yes. <laughs> and then, so you'd sing at school and then you'd go to church and just sit? Yeah, uh, literally. How did, <laughs> just this work? How did this well, work? Well, at school it was just seeing other people doing things and then you're like, oh, okay, maybe I can do this. Mm. And then at church, so it, it looked as if it's just something too serious. I don't like things that are too serious. <laughs> and I'll just, just sit there and watch. And then my brother's like, okay, you guys, because uh, at school they would call us for dinner dances, yeah. funerals, and he's like, what are you really what singing you about? Yeah. Can you just sing for us? And then I just started singing. Then well, people were like, wow, wow, this is nice. And then... And yeah. how did that feel for you? This, oh, actually... People, you know, recognize me enough to actually take me seriously, especially in church. Church, no, church, no, church can be a bit intimidating. Church, no, church, so everyone will be looking at you like, when I'm wearing a cap, I'm not going to be able to sing. I'm not going to be It's really difficult to sing for people. Mm. But in school, uh, it was fun. Really, really fun. Yeah. yeah. Because in school, they sing along and they, yes. they're pumping you up, yes. they're hyping you, and then you get off. <laughs> <laughs> school has that energy that yeah. does that for you. Yeah. Now, what did this trans? What did this do for you? You know, as you transitioned into um, a, a musician career-wise, what did this background in, in in having this experience at school, where you're hyped and you're encouraged, and you move on to church and you're accepted and encouraged as well? What did it do for you as you became a musician um, later on in life? Well, it's not easy, but I think it's a good experience getting to know new people getting to learn a lot of things from great people. Mm. It's really, yeah, it's amazing. Mm. Who yeah. was the first big artist that you worked with? You mentioned quite a couple, but who was the first one? Mm, I don't really remember, but... <laughs> 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 okay, now I'm singing with Janet Mayo, and mm -hmm. wow, she's amazing. Yeah. She's really amazing. And uh, I was doing BVs for Medias Mere. Mm. Yeah, it was different kind of music, but well. I was about to ask, because they, you know, they, they're both gospel, but they have different energies all together. Both very high energy as well, but very different, very separate. Um, how have you managed to balance out um, moving from one one form of artist to the next, um, still within the same spheres, but, you know, of course, like I'm mentioning, different energies, different vibes all together? Mm -hmm. I think I, I would give credit to church, mm. because in church you'd sing anything. Mm. You'd sing reggae. You'd sing Museve, you'd sing anything. <laughs> so it was really easy for me to just go, no, I'm ad lips and mm. I'm fitting in. I'm going, no, I'm serving, I'm fitting in different energies. Yeah, I could fit because of church. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, what has been your most memorable experience so far working with, with these other artists? 
um, traveling, mm. <laughs> traveling to different cities, countries, and well, I think everything is just amazing. For me, it's something new and I'm learning new things every time so the experience is just amazing for mm. me and so now you've you've, you've decided to to go solo try a couple of projects on your own how are you navigating that space because this is completely different now do you want front and center then they thought it was going to be this hard <laughs> and they've gone for this age these guys are very age they are working so hard and for me hi uh i'm still learning and it's just What's so hard about it, Steph? Everything. Late, late hours. It's different when you're in the background and you're doing things for other people. But when it's now you, mm. ish, I'm not good at talking. Like, <laughs> so my fun is, yeah, good, but <laughs> she is serious. If things start getting serious, then um, for me, it's it just overwhelming. something else. Yeah. yeah. But you have a team. You have a very strong support network. Um, I understand your husband is part of your management yes. team as well. So you do have that support. Yes. What is it that makes it um, so difficult for you individually? I mean, you've, you've got the structures that you need. Well, I'd say I'm a lazy person. <laughs> You can't be. So I don't. I no, am. You've been an entrepreneur this long. You can't be lazy. Steph. I'm very lazy. The push for me. Yeah. The push. People are just pushing me. Man, no, no. You're very slow. My husband always says I'm very slow. And I'm like, oh, okay. okay but uh, the push uh, for me. Uh, but what motivates you to get things done? To you, you're a slow IO, but it's getting done. What is it that motivates you? Just knowing I'm going to sing, mm -hmm. gives me joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it motivates me just to know that I'm going to sing. Even if I'm sick, you just mm -hmm. tell me, come and sing. Ah, you won't be sick and do and it. Yeah, I'll do anything. <laughs> uh, it really motivates me. I just love to sing. Tell us about the upcoming project. Okay, um, we have a live recording on the 1st of May at the Seven Arts Theatre. Mm -hmm. We are calling it Revelation Established, and we are hoping to get artists to come and support, mm. and to see a lot of people coming to support. <laughs> <laughs> as as you go through this now, this is is this your first live recording as a, as a, as an, a solo artist? Yes. Hey, you can imagine. <laughs> you can imagine. How are your insides? <laughs> I just want to sing. I don't know what is going to happen, but I just want to sing. <laughs> Steph, we definitely wish you all the best. We will be rooting for you, and I'm pretty sure we will find our way um, to the recording to support Yay. you. Um, but I, I also want to just, as you embark on this journey, um, and as you head towards, especially because this is a milestone for you, this first yes. event is a milestone for yes. you, what do you want to say to anybody out there who feels like you, who feels like it might be a bit overwhelming, it might be scary to start um, and they are hesitant. What would you like to say to them before you go? Well, I'd say to them, don't stop. If you, if it's your passion, if it's something that you love to do, don't stop. Just do it anyway. Mm. Steph, thank you so, so much. Thank you for having me. And we'll see you again when you have gotten over the laziness and the stage fright and the, and the overwhelmingness of everything. <laughs> we'll see you again when you blow up. Thank you so much for sitting down thank with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs>